Hey, 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 y'all. What's up? What, what, what's this? Uh, if you read the description, you see today we are doing a very simple uh, top hat. I did one that's uh, very similar to Accelerator because that is the easiest to achieve in uh, FVD. Uh, later on, I'll probably do one that's more similar to the uh, top hats on Top Drill Dragster and King Ka. Uh But before we get started, I just wanted to apologize for the slowdown in the schedule of updates to the channel uh, i've been really busy with work uh, i took on a new team i took on a, a huge new project and it's really taking up a lot of my time a lot of extra hours after work a lot of hours on the weekend so it's really kind of taking up a lot of time i had to do uh, these videos so i am going to at least keep to a weekly schedule um, until I can things kind of slow down and I can start updating more frequently probably go back to twice a week like I did before uh, but with that being said uh, it may also be good just to to allow me to work on the quality of videos make them just a little bit better we'll see about that right now we have a few hours a week to devote to them so uh, we'll see about that so but with this uh, video I just wanted to let you know that the easiest way I found to do the top hat off the bat is to just use a four section going until you get vertical and then you switch to uh, two straight sections and a curved section that is by far the simplest way to do it uh, i tried it with a four section i tried it with a geometric section both could work i could work them out but uh that'll take a lot more finessing so for those of you who just want to do a very simple top hat this is the way to do it so we're going to go live in just a second. I will show you the details of the uh, track work or the, the graphs and what they look like. And then that'll be it for this video. So stay tuned. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back, and that music was really annoying. Uh, so, uh, in order to get started doing a top hat, you need to do your station like we've done before, and you need to make a slight curve right here, which you can just barely see because I made it so small, but this is just to get the track going in an upward direction because you can see right here, the straight piece that we added has a pitch of positive two. And what that does is it allows, if in case there is a rollback, uh, the, the train can roll back to where it should start. I mean, obviously it will because it can be coming down the hill at 100 miles an hour. But uh, when the brakes stop it, it still allows it to roll back. So always make sure when you do a launch that it's going at an upward angle. Uh, and then it's pretty simple after that. Uh, you just do your straight for however long you think it's necessary and to whatever speed. This particular one I did to 100 miles an hour. And then you add a force section. And this is just like any other hill. You just uh, create the force. I believe on this one I did about 3.7 uh, Gs. And then I tried to taper it off to where it was at 89 degrees. I think 89 point something. Let's take a look at it real fast. So you can see when it hits the end of this. It is at 89.783. That's about as close as you're going to get to 90 degrees. So we leave it there. So like I said before, there were two ways I did this. Uh, first, I tried it with a four section, just doing this with a four section, and I also tried doing it with a geometric section. Uh, the four section looked, eh, I'll show it to you real fast, it doesn't look too good. Uh, you can see that looks a lot worse. It's really not that good, especially the coming down part. I was trying to do the the mat, or the or uh, top tail dragster and king to ka turn. That doesn't look good at all. The going up section's all right, but the coming down was not too good. I think the easier way to do this would be with a geometric section. Uh, I would have to play around with that a bit because that requires you to change the angle, the pitch, the yaw, everything. So it would take a lot more refinement. So for now, I just used a straight section. And if I make the graph a little smaller, you see all I did was change the rotation on the straight section so that we get that nice twist going up. Switched to a curved section at the top and made it negative 180 degrees. So it's going in a downward direction, which is obviously going to take us over the top. 
and then same thing on the way down another straight section just to twist us back to the way we were going and a force and we're right back where we started so that's pretty simple you can see uh, it's definitely harder if you try to do it with only a force section it's definitely much harder uh, this is an easy way to do it let's take one more quick ride on it uh, just so you can get a, a sense of what it feels like when you ride it from start to finish I think it looks pretty good I've heard people say that a top hat is really difficult to do an FVD I don't particularly think this method is too difficult so to ride through it real fast you see we get the nice slowdown at the top and down we go again so that worked pretty well it's very symmetrical so as always i will upload this there'll be a link to it this file in my description so you can go ahead and use that uh upcoming on the channel is next weekend i'm going to six flags great america my first time there so i'm really looking forward to that uh, i'm gonna add a lot of coasters to my account and i'll probably do a live broadcast from there as well uh, i'll be there on sunday and monday so look out for that i'll finish up the bobsleds ride uh, i'm gonna do another mashup uh, based on this, I think I actually got the idea to do, yeah, I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm going to use this first section of this, uh, top hat in that mashup. So that should be pretty fun. We have more FVD elements and reviews, coaster reviews, park reviews, all that sort of thing. So stay tuned, but that's it for this episode. I'll talk to you next time. Take care and enjoy the ride. <laughs>